Ralph DeVello. Doing a special series on playing above the double high C. Now, <clears throat> the reason I'm doing this is because to be able to play up in that range, it takes a tremendous amount of coordination from the moving parts, from your jaw, your lips, your mouth, all the muscles in your body, all the muscles in the armature. In order to play there, it takes a terrific amount of coordination. And if you can play it at that, at that level, it really helps a lot as far as playing in your, your regular high register on the trumpet. Say maybe an F, a G, or even an A. Uh, th this is not about me telling you to raise your tongue up or anything else. One thing that would be magic to help you play up there. There's a whole series of lessons that need to be coordinated and to take you up to that level. So if you're you know willing to put the work in and you really want to do it, let's get started. Well, let's talk about uh, some of the things that we're going to be doing. Uh, so the main thing I'm trying to say is, is consider time and coordination. What I mean by this is everything has to coordinate. Your lips, your tongue, your throat, the way your shoulders move, the way you breathe, the way your back, the way your back is, the way your, your stance is, the way you're sitting, all the muscles of the armature, uh, it goes on and on. We're going to work on coordinating all this. We're not going to think about all this, like 50 million things at one time, because if you did, you probably wouldn't be able to even play one note. So uh, we're going to get started. We're going to talk about the first things first. And the first thing we're going to talk about uh, is breathing. So you're going to take a nice deep breath, or a nice, nice breath like you normally do, or you know how you're trained to do it. You don't don't take such a breath where whereas you're getting uncomfortable or you're feeling stuffed up. So, so just for an example, some people may say uh, like think of hey when they're taking a breath. Hey, like they're thinking hey before they get before they get to start to you know if they're going to yell something real real loud. Some people like to breathe, breathe in like an eight count. Oh, you do it the way you do it, the way you learn to do it. Is I'm sure it's fine, but um, the breath is is one of the things that that needs to coordinate with everything we're going to do. Here's a list of the uh, muscles that need to coordinate, uh, especially as we play higher and higher. So uh, I do have these muscles uh, listed in my book, and you know what they do is for reference if you want to see them. This is some uh, some more of the things that need to coordinate when we're playing up in that high register like that. Again, uh, there's a lot more things than this, but these are some of them. The first lesson that I actually want, want to tell you today about, about playing is I want you to play hold an F sharp on the top line. That's it. No higher, no lower. Just the F sharp. I want you to play it for as long as you can and soft as you can. So if you're playing soft and it starts to cut out, keep blowing. Your lips will make the adjustments by themselves. It will come back. So you can do this a couple times, that's why you need to do it. Uh, so, and another way to do this a little bit harder is, is start it with just the ear instead of starting it with, with a tongue in position. Just start it with just the ear. So hold that F sharp as long and as soft as possible a couple times. And uh, why we'll do this, I'll tell you in, 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 you know, in the lessons to come. But there's a good reason I think that you'll, uh, you'll agree with the reason that we do that. We're going to do this progressively up. So it does take a lot of coordination to play up that high. And there's so many things involved. It's the right hand, it's the left hand, it's when you're fingering the valves. It goes on and on and on. So we're going to cover everything. You really won't be thinking about them when, when you're playing. So it's not going to be uh, like that. I have to do this, I have to do that. It doesn't work that way. The exercises that we do will, will make it happen naturally. So I just talked a little bit about breathing, but we're going to get into that a lot more. And, uh, and I gave you one exercise, hold night F sharp. Now you play your normal routines, uh, whatever books you like to work out of, Claude Gordon, Harbin, whatever you like to work out, you work out of it. And then just plus, just do uh, the little exercises that I give you. I give you each each one of these lessons. This one was just hold that F sharp. As uh, future episodes come up, I like to bring in some uh, special guests. I have friends I played with Maynard Ferguson and so forth. 
and I like to bring him bring them in here to see what they have to say about uh, playing uh, playing in these extreme high ranges. So uh, that was today's first lesson. I'm playing above a double high C, and I hope you liked it. And I'll be back soon. We'll talk some more about that subject.